Welcome back. As over two and a half million Texans have now rolled up their sleeve to get the COVID-19 vaccine, many are starting to wonder kind of what's next once you get it. Do you still have to wear a mask? Can you go back to normal? Nicole Nielsen set out to get a few answers to those questions about how to live life after the shot. Dr. Diana Cervantes has heard it all. The biggest misconception about the vaccine is you won't be able to have children after after the vaccine, and there is nothing to indicate anything like that for this vaccine or really any vaccine. When it comes to COVID-19 vaccine fact and fiction, there are some things she says need to be kept straight. Does getting the vaccine mean you can't get the virus? It's not necessary that you get the vaccine and you won't get an infection. You could still, but it's probably going to be very low level. But just because you may get less severe symptoms doesn't mean you can't spread it. She says you won't receive the full benefits of the Moderna and Pfizer vaccine until after the second dose and that experts are still working to learn more about transmission after full vaccination. That's why she says wearing your mask and social distancing is still important after being vaccinated. You know, can we still transmit or not after the vaccine is still pending. At this point, it is recommended that, you know, you wear your mask, still have that physical distance. What about if you've had COVID already? Do you still need to be vaccinated? Maybe if you had a very mild infection, you couldn't build enough immune defense against another infection. So it is a good idea to go ahead and get it. But what about reactions? The data does suggest that uh, people who have received the Moderna vaccine are having a little bit more reactions, but the reactions in general for both vaccines have been mild. Of course, she says the long-term effects of vaccines are still yet to be known, but that she does know one thing for sure. The unknowns of the vaccine versus the unknowns of getting infected, the unknowns on getting infected are much, much greater. In fourth, Nicole Nielsen, CBS 11 News.